1. Cryotherapy, or the use of cold applications, and the physiological principles of cold and the treatment of physical conditions. Well, we're here today to demonstrate and to talk a little bit about the use of therapeutic modalities. And to do that, we're going to begin with the use of cold. Now, determining whether and when you're going to use cold or heat is not always clear cut. But certainly in cases of inf inflammation and heat, you want to use cold therapies. And so what we're going to do today is just model the use of a cold therapy uh, on an elbow condition. So we have our subject uh, positioned comfortably in a sideline position on the table. And we've placed the elbow, which is the area of treatment, in such a way as we're going to be able to apply a cold application to it. One of the first things we want to do is we want to take a piece of cloth. It could be uh, really any thin piece of cloth. It could be a piece of pillow slip. It could be a towel uh, that is clean and place it over the area of treatment. After we've done that, we do have a variety of, of uh, sizes of cold packs available to us. These are a couple of smaller cold packs here that I have. And depending on the size of the area of treatment, uh, we might be treating a very localized area of inflammation and pain, such as in tennis elbow, or maybe a larger area where we not only have a tendonitis, uh, but we also have involvement of the ligaments, the joint complex, and maybe muscle uh, as well. So we want to cover a little bit larger area. So we have a choice here as to what size cold pack we would place over the area. Again, a smaller cold pack, uh, for a, a you know, smaller, more circumscribed area of treatment, or maybe a larger cold pack. And of course, cold packs come even larger than this, where they would cover uh, the entire uh, upper arm, even the shoulder region, along with the elbow, if that became, if that became necessary. The cold pack, pack is simply placed over the area, and then we like to lay, and it could be uh, anything from uh, one, two, three, four layers of toweling, over the cold pack as an insulation to help retain the cold and make sure that the cold itself is delivered to the treatment area. Now in some cases, uh, we might even want to place a, uh, uh, a weight of some kind, and so we utilize uh, these packs, which also serve a uh, second duty as a hot pack. Uh, this particular uh, pack here is uh, microwavable, but in this case, we of course have not heated it since we're doing a cold application, but we might just want the weight over the cold pack in order to help hold the cold pack right up against the area of, uh, of, of treatment. The physiological effects of cold therapy may include, it decreases pain, decreases edema, decreases acute or chronic inflammation, decreases muscle spasm and nerve spasticity, and decreases circulation or increases circulation, slows down cellular metabolism, an analgesic effect on trigger points. Okay, so we're continuing to demonstrate the therapeutic modality procedures, specifically the application of cold. And once again, we're working with a cold pack that has been uh, refrigerated. And what we're gonna show here is the use of a cold pack over a larger area where there's more uh, tissue bulk and so we're going to use the hip area in order to apply this, uh, this cold pack. Now, for the purposes of this tape, we have not had the, uh, the patient disrobe. Uh, and what we would normally do is use proper medical massage, surgical draping technique, and the patient would not be wearing blue jeans. But uh, for, again, the purposes of this, uh, uh, this tape presentation, what we're going to do is leave those jeans on and just go ahead here. We have covered the area of treatment, uh, which we would do because we do not want the cold pack to come in direct contact with the skin. The concern there is that it would be uncomfortable to the patient, it would create more of a burning sensation in the skin, and the possibility of frostbite, and all of those negative aspects of the treatment we want to avoid. So once again, we've covered the area, which normally uh, this pillow slip that I'm using, or I could be using a towel, uh, would be directly over the exposed skin. Then I would simply place the cold pack on top of that area there, again with this barrier here like so, 
and then once again to insulate and to retain the cold uh, for as long as possible, keeping in mind that uh, my treatment period is going to uh, last something like uh, 15, 20 minutes of cold application to the hip area, I would then place more toweling on top of that. Now, I'm going to take this another step because now I, what I have done is I have, I have placed my, my skin protective barrier, I have placed my cold pack, and I've placed toweling over that to insulate that and to keep the uh, cold in. But I can take this another step and I can add to this procedure uh, a percussion. And percussion or vibratory therapy actually will be uh, explained later on uh, in this presentation. But since we're doing the cold and we have her set up for the cold, we might as well go ahead and do that at this time. Now, to protect the skin from the percussion instrument itself, and I will be using a thumper in just a moment, we will place several layers of toweling to act um, as a shock absorber, if you would. Then we'll take the percussion instrument, which in this case is called the thumper, and we'll place it directly over the area. Now, I'm placing it here and I'm letting it rest, but I will lift it up slightly and I will turn it on. Then I will lower it and I will slowly press into the cold pack and into her hip. And then I'll ask her if that feels okay, if it's comfortable or uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And she'll tell me affirmatively that it's just fine. And then I will carefully move it around the area and I'm going to have to support all of these materials, and that's support the towel and the cold pack and my draping materials, all going to have to be supported. And I'll very carefully and slowly circle this. So what I've combined here is I have combined cold therapy with a nice gentle percussion over an area. And when would you use this? Well, you'd use this in an area where you have perhaps acute inflammation, where there is pain and there is a swelling or edema in the tissue, there is stiffness in the tissue, perhaps a protective muscle spasm, and you would use that to help to relieve all of those conditions. I probably would apply the thumper for anywhere from five to 10 minutes, and then I would turn the thumper off after five to 10 minutes, and I would let the cold continue to have its effect on the treatment area. I want to readjust this material because it is going to move as you uh, percuss the area, so you want to make sure it doesn't slide off the patient. And then I'll go back and I'll take and I'll apply this gentle weight here again, right over the area of treatment to make sure that everything stays in place. Plus that the weight of this pack just kind of helps press that cold right into the area of treatment.